take the castle. Bless you, boy. Bless you. Get off. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 dumbest decisions in Harry Potter. If he's only hurting Sirius because he's trying to get to you. What if he is? I'm supposed to just let him die. Hermione, he's the only family I've got left. For this list, we'll be going over the most boneheaded, poor, or unfortunate choices made by good and bad characters in the Harry Potter franchise. We'll be looking at dumb decisions made in both the movies and the books. And since we'll dive into details, we're gonna cast a spoiler warning. If there's a stupid Harry Potter choice we were foolish to leave off our list, please let us know about it in the comments. Number 10, taking the flying car to Hogwarts, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry and Ron Weasley don't always make the wisest choices, especially when Hermione isn't around. Ron, you okay? Yeah, okay. Whew. Lucky we didn't panic. Lucky Hermione pays attention in herbology. One of the duo's dumbest moves comes when they go to King's Cross and find themselves unable to travel through the magical barrier to reach platform nine and three quarters. If we can't get through, maybe mum and dad can't get back. Maybe we should just go and wait by the car. The car? Fearing no one will come to their aid, they take Mr. Weasley's flying car to Hogwarts instead. This terrible idea nearly exposes muggles to the magic of the wizarding world. It's also silly because the duo could have waited for Ron's parents or another magical adult to help them. You were seen by no less than seven muggles. Do you have any idea how serious this is? You have risked the exposure of our world. There are many, many methods of magical transport in the wizarding world. The boys could have definitely figured out a better way to get to Hogwarts than a flying car. Diagon Alley! You see? It's quite easy, dear. Don't be afraid. Number nine, holding detention in the Forbidden Forest at night. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Hogwarts students are unintentionally put in dangerous situations all the time, but sometimes the professors intentionally put them into tricky situations. Therefore, as punishment for your actions, 50 points will be taken. 50? Each. And to ensure it doesn't happen again, all four of you will receive detention. After being caught out of bed after hours, Harry, Ron, Hermione and Draco all get detention. For their punishment, they must help Hagrid find an injured unicorn in the Forbidden Forest at night. Hagrid, what is that? What we're here for. See that? That's unicorn blood, that is. I found one dead a few weeks ago. What makes things even worse is the one who harmed the unicorn that night is still roaming the forest. Oh, and he happens to be none other than Voldemort himself. What is it, Fang? Admittedly, an excursion like this could scare kids so badly they'll never be tempted to break the rules again. It's still a bad idea, though. The forest? I thought that was a joke. We can't go in there. Students aren't allowed. And there are... Werewolves! Number eight, Slughorn tells Tom Riddle about Horcruxes. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. When I first met young Mr. Riddle, he was a quiet, albeit brilliant boy committed to becoming a first-rate wizard. Not unlike others I've known. Not unlike yourself, in fact. Horace Slughorn was a professor at Hogwarts for many years. During that time, he taught Tom Riddle, the boy who would become Voldemort. During a private conversation, Tom asks about Horcruxes. I read something rather odd about a bit of rare magic. It's called, as I understand it, Horcrux. I beg your pardon? Slughorn confirms they are dark magical artifacts infused with fragments of a wizard's soul that could make one effectively immortal. And he also explains how they can be made. You already know the answer to that, Tom. Murder. Yes. 
Killing rips the soul apart. It is a violation against nature. Not only is telling a teenager about Horcruxes a bad idea, but it also directly ensures Voldemort survives his first brush with death. If we were talking solely about decisions that have the most disastrous consequences long term, this would probably take the top spot. You've been a good and faithful servant, Severus. But only I can live forever. We can see why Slughorn didn't want to share the memory of this boneheaded decision with Harry. Number 7. Dumbledore Keeps Too Many Secrets Harry Potter Franchise For one of the greatest wizards of the age, Dumbledore has a major flaw that he keeps repeating. He often keeps valuable information a secret from Harry, his allies and the wizarding world at large. So when the time comes, the boy must die. Yes. Yes. He must die. Dumbledore neglects to tell Harry about things like the existence of a prophecy or the fact that Voldemort could read the boy's mind before both things turn into much bigger issues. Why didn't you tell me? For the same reason you tried to save Sirius. For the same reason your friend saved you. After all these years, after all you've suffered, I didn't want to cause you any more pain. While you could argue the headmaster hid information about items like horcruxes for his students' sakes, he could have told trusted professors like McGonagall more about his various plans. It's where you've been going, isn't it, sir? When you leave the school? Yes. And I think perhaps I may have found another. But this time, I cannot hope to destroy it alone. But Dumbledore seems to prefer leaving cryptic clues and relying on others to succeed through pure chance. For a headmaster, keeping secrets was both no fun and more than a little dumb. Dumbledore left this for me? Yeah. Brilliant. What is it? Number 6. Harry Stops Sirius and Ramus from Punishing Pettigrew Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Harry spends much of Prisoner of Azkaban in fear of Sirius Black, whom the world believes betrayed Harry's parents to Voldemort. Black was vicious. He didn't kill Pettigrew. He destroyed it. Mm -hmm. A finger. That's all was left, a finger. However, the accused criminal and Lupin reveal Peter Pettigrew sold to James and Lily Potter out and disguised himself as Ron's pet. Harry convinces the angry adults not to harm the rat. You should have realised, Peter, that if Voldemort didn't kill you, then we would. Together. No! Harry, this man... I know what he is. He instead asks for Pettigrew to be sent to Azkaban. This decision majorly backfires. Not only does Pettigrew escape, but he takes Cedric Diggory's life and helps Voldemort get a brand new body. Kill the stag! No! No! Cedric! We're not saying that either of them should have put the rat down permanently, but if they had, the revived Voldemort and his henchmen would not have taken the lives of Sirius, Ramus, and so many others later on. That was a noble thing you did back there. He doesn't deserve it. Well, I just didn't think my dad would have wanted his two best friends to become killers. Number five, Harry goes to the Ministry. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Thanks to that famous scar and a few other factors, Harry's connected with Voldemort's mind. So when he receives a vision of the Dark Lord torturing Sirius in the Ministry of Magic, he becomes hell-bent on rescuing his godfather. I need that prophecy. You'll have to kill me. Oh, I will, but first you will fetch it for me. When Harry gets ignored by adults, he decides to travel to the seat of Britain's wizarding government right away. But it turns out that his intel was false. Don't you want to know the secret of your scar? All the answers are there. Bot in your hand. Voldemort tricked him into travelling to the Ministry so Harry would retrieve a prophecy. The ensuing battle there results in Sirius meeting an untimely end. Nice one, James! But there's one 
fact, that makes Harry's decision look worse. If he just used a two-way mirror that allowed him to check on his godfather, none of this would have happened. Harry. I can see you in this. Number four, Barty Crouch Sr. breaks his son out of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Barty Crouch Sr. is a Ministry of Magic official whose son, Barty Crouch Jr., is convicted as a Death Eater and sent to Azkaban. Get your hands off me, you pathetic little man! <laughs> Hello, father. You are no son of mine. While the father lets his child rot there in the movies, he makes a different and extraordinarily poor decision in the books. Crouch Sr. breaks his son out of prison as a favour to his sick wife. Never whole again, are we? Still, life goes on. And here we stand. He thinks it's fine because he keeps his son imprisoned and mind-controlled for years in their home. But this plan backfires when Peter Pettigrew liberates Crouch Jr. and works with him to bring about Voldemort's return. You know what this means, don't you? He's back. Lord Voldemort has returned. I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't help it. If Crouch Sr. hadn't indulged his wife's final request, Voldemort would never have gotten his body back. But no matter, no matter, things have changed. I can touch you now. <laughs> Number three, the Triwizard Scheme. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Villains sure do love overly complex plans. Voldemort concocts a doozy of one in Goblet of Fire. I'm sure your parents would be very proud of you today, Potter. Artemius! Not trying to lure Potter into one of the Ministry's summer internships, are we? Last boy who went into the Department of Mysteries never came out! To get Harry's blood to his body, you know who has Crouch Jr. disguise himself as one of the most skilled aurors ever. While Crouch Jr. is undercover, he enters Harry into the Triwizard Tournament and makes sure the boy wins. You put my name in the Goblet of Fire. You bewitched Crumb, but you, 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 you won because I made it so, Potter. You ended up in that graveyard tonight because it was meant to be so. When Harry touches the Triwizard Cup to claim victory, he's instantly transported to Voldemort. Was this complex plan really the only option? Couldn't Crouch Jr. have just kidnapped Harry earlier? Or, short of that, secretly got the blood by some other means? Barty Crouch Jr. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Your arm, Harry. Uh... There were so many things that nearly derailed this convoluted plan completely. Although Voldemort did get his body, Harry survived and warned the world that Voldemort returned. He's back! He's back! Voldemort's back! Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. I couldn't leave him. Not that. Number two, Harry resists learning occlumency. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. As we mentioned a couple of times before, Voldemort's connection to Harry's mind proves problematic. Dumbledore tries to help his student learn how to resist these mind invasions by making him learn occlumency from Snape. In these lessons, I will attempt to penetrate your mind. You will attempt to resist. Prepare yourself. Unfortunately, Snape and Harry already have a pretty bad relationship. Their bad blood reaches a breaking point when Harry peeks into one of Snape's worst memories during training. Billy Armas! Nice one, James! Oh, James, finish him off! Dad. Impedimenta! Right, who wants to see me take off Snivelly's trout? In the wake of this incident, the professor immediately refuses to teach any more lessons. Someone should have made the occlumency training continue. Your lessons are at an end. I did get out. If it had, Voldemort probably wouldn't have tricked Harry into going to the Ministry. Still, most of the blame falls on Dumbledore for not having literally anyone besides Snape teach occlumency. Look at me! I 
What's happening to me? Before we get to our top pick, here are a few dishonourable mentions. Peter Pettigrew's long life as Scabbers, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Did he really have to live as a rat for 10 plus years to hide? Ron, I've not been a good friend, a good pet. You won't let them give me to the Dementors, will you? I was your rat! Oh, sweet girl, clever girl! Bellatrix attacks Ginny. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Mrs. Weasley instantly makes the evil witch pay. Not my daughter, you bitch! <laughs> uses Sectumsempra on Malfoy, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. He should know better than to use a spell without knowing what it does. <laughs> Harry breaks the taboo. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Harry saying the name when he wasn't supposed to leads to his capture in the book. Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Well, don't hang a bell. Snatch him! Leaving Harry with the Dursleys full time. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Could Dumbledore not have let Harry spend some time each year with less horrible families? Good luck, Harry Potter. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Voldemort doesn't check Harry's pulse. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. The Dark Lord makes several mistakes before his final downfall. What if the one never belonged to Snape? What if its allegiance was always to someone else? Well, come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Together! But he saves his biggest blunder for last. When Harry confronts him in the Forbidden Forest, Voldemort sends a killing curse at him that knocks them both down. As the villain rises to his feet, the hero plays dead on the ground. When Voldemort sends Narcissa Malfoy to check on Harry, She lies and says the boy is gone, for her own reasons. But why did the villain leave anything to chance? If there were a boy prophesied to take you down, wouldn't you triple check that he was out of the way? Don't get us wrong, we're glad the villain didn't. But from Voldemort's perspective, this was a stupid, costly and easily avoidable mistake. Well, you will, because you're wrong. <laughs> Harry's heart did beat for us, for all of us. It's not over. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.